Hello, and welcome back to our Sip and Shelley's DIY. Today we're going to make a standard lamp for you. We're going to use these old legs that we've used in the project for the plant stand, and we're making it for this lampshade that we also made in the last video. So if you haven't seen either of them videos, then have a look at it. We've got everything on the table that we need. We're going to start off with the legs. We need to join them together to make one stand. Um, Mr. Sepp's going to do that and show you. Then we need to sort out the base and then we're going to put the electrics together. Now we want to join the two legs together. We're going to do this with a threaded rod. To do this, because there's like a hole in here, we're going to make a template first of all from this piece of wood. It's a little bit bigger than the actual hole here. Mr. Sepp's going to find the middle of it, drill all the way through it, and then he's got to sand it down so it fits in exactly. Then we can use this template here to drill the hole in here, and exactly the same on the other one, and then the legs should fit perfectly together. Before we screw the lamp stand together, we're going to give it a good clean. I'm going to use a toothbrush and some water to scrub it all over. Then I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to use some wire wool and give it another scrub all over. So here, as you can see, there's white marks on the wood. This is from Sherlock. It's gone old and discoloured. So we've got to remove that. We do that with some spirits. As you can see here, we've tried it out. It works quite well. Here, Sepp has applied some. So that's what we're going to do now, is apply everywhere um, some spirits and get rid of these white marks. I wanted to show you the results of how the legs have come out after we used the spirits on the shell lac or the French polish. The shell lac has uh, dissolved and then spread all over the legs so that we haven't got these white marks anymore. And you can see now that the legs are nice and shiny and the colour of the rosewood really comes out nice and deep. I'm also going to add another coat of shell lac on top, French polish, um, which will make the legs look absolute perfect. But before we do this, we're going to drill two holes in the, in the legs. We're going to join them together. There's a hole at the top for the electrics and a hole at the bottom to attach the base. Once I've done that, I'm then going to apply the shell lac. Unfortunately, our plan A with the foots and a bit to drill a hole in here to put the electrics inside didn't work. The wood is too hard and Sips Force and bit won't get through it. it it's take us ages to do it. So what we've decided to do is we're going to cut a ring out of this piece of wood. So it's going to draw around um, the bottom ba the base of the lamp and it's going to be smaller than this so you won't see it because this will go over the top of it. The ring's going to go in here and then we can put all the electrics inside of here.
So you've just seen us drill a hole from the outside so we can put the cable in and you've also seen us put this uh, piece of wood on top. This you will not see because we will be putting this piece of electrics on top. It fits on nice so we won't see it, it will be screwed into place. I'll just fiddle it into place now like that so you won't see the wood at all. Before we do that we're going to now screw the leg together and I'm going to put share leg on top of the whole of the leg. This is the base of the lamp stand. We're going to drill a hole in the middle and then we're going to paint it gold. So after putting our lamp together we didn't like the colour of the base so I've changed it to black and now we've added the lampshade and the lamp is finished. The rosewood has come out really nice, I like the way it looks, so another good project I think. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks time and we'd like to say thank you to all of those that have subscribed up to now and if you haven't subscribed then please do subscribe and we'll see you soon, ta ta!